Detective, how does it make you feel that the shooting is presently questionable? I'm confident it'll work itself out. That's an intellectual response. I want to know how you feel about it. I suppose a little anxious to put it to bed. Where do you think that anxiety is coming from? Spain. Seriously, detective. Do you think you're feeling anxiety because at root you feel you may have possibly been in the wrong? No, it was a good shoot. How do you feel about black people? What's that got to do with anything? Duty captain's report says that you rounded back after witnessing two black youths walking behind a white youth. Yeah, they were scoping them out. When you passed, they were separated by about 50 feet, you said. From that distance, how could you possibly know what they were doing? I got enough years on the job to read body language. Would you have rounded back if the two black youths had been white? They weren't. Certain folks in this field would say that that kind of answer, or lack thereof, is essentially a guilty admission. So, by not saying anything, what I'm really saying is, I only went back because those kids were black. Now, take it a step further and ask yourself, did I only shoot because they were black? I shot because they had a gun on me. Which hasn't been found. What is this, huh? What are you trying to get me to admit? Just the truth. Did I roll around the block again because these kids were black? Maybe. But I might have done the same thing if they were white. I don't know because they weren't. What I do know for damn sure is I shot at that car because there was a gun pointing at me. That's it. No colors, no black, no white, just the gun. If you rolled on them because of a prejudice, detective, you can't just divorce yourself from that when it comes to the shooting. You know what, Doc? I've had about enough of this crap. I'm leaving. Detective Sipwitz, we have 42 minutes left. Yeah, well, stick them in your ass. This will be reflected in my report, detective. Stick your report in your ass, too.